Hello YouTube and welcome to another Vacuum Mad 8 video and today we're just doing a conclusion for Vintage Week 24. Um, this week we decided it was half term and things like that so we've both been home, the house has been exceptionally messy hasn't it mate? Because mm. we're going to show you the contents of the bag, that's to, sh to show So this one we oh, normally do... open the bag. Yeah, yeah we can do yeah. So we normally do a bit of a front, a bit of the start where we have the thing where you show me cleaning up. Um, today, no. we're not really going to do that to cut the video time down a bit. Um, plus as well, quite often I do get a copyright strike with <laughs> the uh, music I use. Um, like you say, YouTube is changing it all the time. Yes, yeah. there should be root the red side and splash it to up. That's right. So yeah, so YouTube is changing, rules are changing. Um, uh, so I've only ever had two copyright strikes, but being non-monetized videos, um, it doesn't affect me in some ways. Um, so we're not bothered about that. So, you know, some of us made money off our video, didn't I? Just because I, I had stole, well, I didn't steal a bit of music, but I used um, some music on an app. So uh, yeah, so today we're just gonna keep this down a little bit closer. So I can do a little bit of a clean with it. I've done a full oh, house clean. Like <laughs> um, this brush here, lovely. This tool one tool. Um, one of the greats with a thing, with a tool. But it always blocks. Is It's lovely this way, isn't it? It's got tiny holes. But once you stick it in that way, anything larger than, say, porridge oats. Or a piece of cardboard. Will not go through. So that's one gripe with it. So that's been the main issue with the machine. The machine's performed very well all week. The suction on it. Oh, oh, this head's quite rubbish. Yeah. The, uh, can't remember. It's been a little while since we've had this one out. A 564. So it's a 650 watt motor. So it would be up into today's standard. Um, pretty good suction on it. So this has about the same just a bit more power than a Henry motor if you compare it, but the suction I'd say is about half. Obviously down to the design of the fan. Um, these motors, um, when you spin up a Henry motor or a Dyson, they, they you can hear them spinning up faster. These, these seem to run slower, but um, they just seem to last a long, long time. So this machine's 47 years old, looking very good for the age, and the hose is in cracking condition. So, yeah, so we're going to talk about picking up with a thing. Well, did take a gamble using this one for the week, but it did um, spend a bit of time. It had a few problems with the floor head. Now, this floor head here. So, in the 70s, they made a flip over floor head. Um, Hoover used it as well. I don't know who stole whose idea. I don't, I think possibly my lecture will come out at first, but I just think the Hoover one was slightly better um, in design. So this is the side, this is the top half of it. So if we turn it over, get the right side up. So if you have a look here, you've got your your brush, your brussels, your brushes for um, hard floors. Now this was actually a very good hard floor tool indeed, but the only thing that was wrong with it was these stupid things here. Um, anything bigger, so this is what I call like, you know, in your kitchen, you would generally have larger particles than you would in your, in your in your living room. But I just felt that, I think I had a little bit of salad, a little bit of lettuce up there, and it wouldn't even go in the hole. So I had to take it, so it was stuck to it and blocking the airways. And then when you flip it over again, it gets even tinier. It's even smaller. Um, so that basically meant you could not suck hardly anything up at all with it. So apart from dust, that was the only thing you could suck up with this. Um, when you look at the... Um, it's got it a cheaper in actually, right? When you look at, say, the older Hoover Constellations and the 60s machines, they had big O's on them, didn't they? And I mean, mm. you know, they were a lot better. So the, issue, the main issue with this one was, it was great for up top cleaning, 
but it was not good for the floors. Um, I've actually vacuumed a little while ago, so what we're going to do, we're just going to um, give this one a quick push around the room, just to give it the final clean. I did a full house clean this morning with this one. Didn't have no problems at all. Um, the brush actually is very good for the screens. It's nice and soft. Um, probably not as soft as this this brush. These brushes here do remind me of the older style Henry ones, don't they? The new ones aren't like that anymore, are they? I think these are horsehair brushes, bristles, um, which was a standard item they used to use. Um, actually, I'm actually... I've noticed as well, like with the Henry um, tools now, the, they're not as long, are they? The older ones, I've got nice... The, this brush, this here would be brilliant for like vacuuming outside. If you've got decking and that in the cracks. And that's one of the sort of tools I do use, but not obviously a vintage one. So uh, this would be a perfect tool, the length of the bristles. So we'll uh, give this one a quick go. Give it a final go around the room. Um, so it has performed very well. 600, a turbo head on it. 650 watts. It's a well-built machine. It's a lovely looking machine. I think this one was a more of a budget machine. I think some of them come with cable rewinds, didn't they? Three, um, four, five, is it? I want the one that's got the bag. Big, uh, oh, yeah. Jet, um, yeah. So Electrolux, the bag you know, it is a lovely machine. It does come in that burnt orange. Um, I think it's one of the nicest um cylinder so vacuums that they made in the 70s i think there's only one possibly would be a bit nicer is that purple freedom in it mm. you know i think the purple freedom is a nice interesting looking cylinder machine and then you've got this one here and i think these are like the two nicest ones to look at really um so what we'll do now we'll give this one a quick push around the room um and then we'll show you the bag contents mm. So upon using this one, this one is more like having a fitness, doing a bit of fitness around the house. So if you want to lose weight and you're stuck indoors, you want to buy yourself one of these. <laughs> and it's hard work, isn't it? It's not brilliantly at cleaning, but I suppose it is, you know, if you compare so this is much like I'm using a Henry really of today. But like, you know, we let that one out a couple of times uh, last week. Not obviously on business week. It's nice to see some sunlight there today, actually. Alright, that'd be enough now, I think. One more there, one more bit. So, this is the last part of the cream we're going to do with this one today. Like you say, it's very good for getting in the cracks. Um, Uber Junior wouldn't have done that. Um, so I think it was actually the perfect machine for the week, actually. Yeah. So what have we, we've been sucking up batteries with this one in the week, haven't we? So we've, he's had batteries in it. We've been um, shredding paper and cardboard. So it's had um, a general um, week off worth of dirt in this one, um, which was, so it was actually the perfect machine for the week. So what we've got to do now is we're going to go and empty this one. Um, it's due for a new bag anyway. Um, so we're going to put another, well, I don't know what bag we're going to put in there yet. I don't know if we're going to put a, a Siebel in there or... Uh, or another Henry bag. Probably a seal might be a bit better. Yeah, we're gonna. Have, so what we'll do is get this one open now. We've um, it is turned off and it is unplugged from the mains. I would recommend to do that. With any metal, old vacuum. If you're going to be touching anything metal or inside when the motor is, you know it's it's old. So have a look inside. 
Nothing hardy in there. Got whatever that. A little bit of dust on there. No, the guy's got a piece of paper on that. Shit. This is damn shit that out. Yeah, so this one does get used a fair bit actually. I was collecting. The problem with this, this is the way we got this bag set up. Look, we're gonna have to cut some. We're gonna have to cut this off. Oh no, you can take it out this way, can't we? Oh, it's a piece of plastic. All right, put that down there now. No break a peep. It's like a bit of broken piece of plastic. Yeah, right. Next notes. That comes off, doesn't it? That reminds me of like what you have in the wash in the tumble dryers, the it's, lint, the lint things. Just going to get this out. So as you can see, look, we're gonna literally pull this bag out of here. How do you get that out? <laughs> Just cut that off. <laughs> Just so what you can do, you flex it like that and stick it back through the hole. And we just have to cut this open. So we're gonna cut this one open. So we need some better scissors. Yeah, the clean cuts we've literally hammered down now. <laughs> so this one was a nice clean machine, nice clean bag. Where that? When we first did the video of it. He's aware now. So what we'll do, we'll just tip this out. And, and most of this was sucked up this week. And there was a lot of... We have got a KFC, we've got contents of KFC. we got some plastic bags here. Where's some batteries? I've got to go out and find the battery. Yeah, we're going to have to make sure we take the batteries out. Don't think there is any in there. Uh, just make sure I get all this. Yeah, that's it. Ah, that's enough. Yeah, but there's no more batteries in it. Mm. Any shit going out. As you can see, we've pretty much sucked up some very large particles with it all week. There might be some spiders and all sorts of things in there. Um, the only thing I didn't suck up today was a wood lace was in the, ha in the house. And I used the cordless machine just to suck up that one um, wood lace. Um, and it was this morning. And I thought, well, I don't really want to... Um, oh. So we got a battery there and that. So uh, there, that is most near enough all of it for the week. We've uh, it's been cutting up lots of paper. It's been sucking up lots of stuff. It's been doing full house clean. So it was the perfect machine, I think, for the week off for the Easter week. Well, I've just um, had to give it a quick vacuum after um, putting that stuff in there. So looking at the amount of stuff that's come out the carpet, I've only really vacuumed just this rug alone. Um, and we haven't used anything with aggregation all week. This is basically what this one's pulled out and you've literally seen me. Um, so there you go. So which vacuum's better for carpets? Dyson. Something with straight suction or something with some sort of aggregation. So. Uh, Henry will not not clean as well as this one on a carpet, but Henry also is more versatile. So it is um, straight suction machines to me. Um, a good thing now is they're not making so many um, straight suction machines with power heads or the way in that carpets. So yeah, that's just a little insight on the video. Um, so yeah, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8. We're, uh, we're going to do some more videos coming up soon. Any more stuff? In yeah, the we'll, we'll just chuck it out, out like that and now. Let's put it in the out, out, out a bit. That's more cavity stuff. Yeah, so uh, bye for now.